Bible talk about the fruitlessness of the disciples' effort. I don't know what God has given you to turn your life around. I don't know what God has given you to cause miracles to happen in your life. But the Bible said these men, they leave the boat on the lakeside. And they were there what? Washing their nets. They were sitting on the lakeside washing their net. And I want you to picture with me something here. That they were not all the way in the water and they were not all the way out of the water. They were right on the in-between in the shallowness of the water. And some of us are living, are trying to survive because you can't live in shallowness. You will try to survive the shallow water. You are not all the way in in your prior life and you're not all the way out in your prior life. You are not all the way in in the word of God and you're not all the way out of the word of God. You are in what I call a shallow place. Somebody says shallow place. The Bible talks about lukewarmness. And that is a perfect example of being a lukewarm Christian. When you are not all the way in and you are not all the way out. You are not fully committed to the dryness and you are not fully committed to the depth. Amen. You are just right there on the in between. And the Spirit of God, He got a way of shaking your life. And some of you right now, you are going through a shaking. Hey, because nothing great happened in shallow water. And the Bible said they were right there on the in between. And I'm here to trouble somebody in this room and under the hearing of my voice that the Holy Ghost came and he found you standing on the in between. And the Lord said, You have been there long enough. He said, The vision that I give you, it will not survive on the in between. He said the dream that I give you It will not survive And the in between In fact it may survive But it won't live And the in between Somebody touch your neighbor and say neighbor It's time to move From the in between And go out A little bit deeper 